Today we'll be continuing my series looking at the best weapons in Red Dead Redemption 2 and how to get them totally free. I've already covered shotguns and sidearms in separate videos, which I'll link in the description below. However, this time we're going to be checking out repeaters. First of which is of course the Lancaster Repeater, which is one of my favourite guns in the whole game and one that I definitely recommend you get if you haven't acquired it already. Under normal conditions you can purchase it from any gunsmith, but that's not really necessary considering you'll automatically get one for free when you complete an American pastoral scene late in Chapter 2. That's the mission where you team up with old Rat Boy and rob a stagecoach for everything it's worth, but not before everything goes pear shape and your escape gets abruptly brought to a stop after crashing the vehicle. Shortly before that happens though, Michael will do the first useful thing that he's ever accomplished in his life and give you a free Lancaster repeater out of the kindness of his heart. Okay, well in fairness, it's probably not him being a good guy as much as him once again shamelessly recruiting Arthur's help to save his bacon after another one of his piss poor plans goes to shit, but I digress. Point being is if you're someone that wants to just smash out the story as quickly as possible, you may as well wait to finish this mission and just get the gun that way. But if you want to get it earlier than that, well I've got you covered there as well. If you make your way over to the Rhodes Gunsmith at any point throughout the story, you can come across a truly disturbing random encounter. It involves a captured boy that's been imprisoned in the basement after a series of tragic events. It's implied that he's been down there for years and the story behind it is both twisted and also very sad if you take the time to listen to it. To get access to both him and the free Lancaster repeater, you'll need to go inside the Gunsmith building and draw your gun on the owner. That will give you the option of robbing the basement, which is of course where we want to go. He'll then lead you downstairs, where if you want to, you can choose to stick around and hear all of the gruesome details, before inevitably setting the boy free and heading on your way. It's a hugely misunderstood encounter, and one that really hit me quite hard when I experienced it properly for the first time, so yeah, definitely check it out if you're interested. Either way, before you get out of here, just make sure that you inspect the weapon case located on the table to the side. The owner won't put up any sort of a fight or try to stop you from taking the Lancaster, so there's no need to put him down or do anything to subdue him. But there's also not really any punishment for doing so, so if you want to take out your own special brand of justice before leaving, well you go right ahead. Overall, it's a really solid gun, especially considering it's available so early on in the game. Not only does it do great for mid-range targets like this, but if you prefer to get all up close and personal, you can pretty much rapid fire the thing just like it's a pistol or a revolver. So basically, just smash the fire button when you're not aiming the gun, and it'll absolutely shred through just about anything in its path. With a 14 bullet capacity, good range, and some truly deadly accuracy, this thing can not only do some serious damage, but will also remain a trustworthy addition to your arsenal from start to finish. The next one we'll be looking at is the Lichfield, which is often compared alongside the Lancaster as one of the best repeaters in the game. It's a good looking gun, and it's got some truly amazing stopping power. Compared to the Lancaster though, it does lose out when it comes to accuracy and fire rate, but it makes up for it by being more powerful and having a slightly larger ammo capacity. Under normal circumstances, you can purchase it from select gunsmiths late in Chapter 6 for around $145. But if you want to save your money, be sure to wait just a few missions longer until you get up to Mrs. Sadie Adler Widow Part 1. That's the one where you storm Hanging Dog Ranch and take out almost every remaining O'Driscoll left on the face of the planet. It's a truly brutal firefight and one of my favourite missions in the game. But to make it even better, you can actually claim a free Litchfield repeater before you attack the ranch. After speaking to Sadie at camp when triggering the mission, you'll be given the option to either travel with her or go by yourself. Either way it goes down, once you arrive at the mission marker, you'll go over a few plans with Sadie before eventually making your approach on the property. But before you do, you're going to want to make sure that you double back towards the small campsite behind you. Where next to it, shining in the sun, will be a brand new Litchfield for you to claim for your very own. And yeah, it's as simple as that folks, you don't have to spend a penny. The only downside is, is that you can't do it any earlier than Chapter 6. But hey, I'll never complain too much when it's free. As for which one's better, this or the Lancaster, well it really just comes down to personal preference. A lot of people do seem to prefer the Lancaster, but the ones who swear by the Litchfield wouldn't have it any other way. 
The stopping power is hard to pass up. If you can slow your aim down and let the bloom retract before firing, you'll find it almost feels like a rifle with some of the shots you take. Personally, I do prefer the Lancaster as I said before, but try both of them out and see for yourself. This is still a mighty fine gun for anyone on the market for a new repeater. Last on the list is the lesser known but still very deadly gun known as the Evans Repeater. It was added to the game about a year after Red Dead 2 released, and was originally reserved for the PC version, where it was then added to all other platforms a few months later. The stats on it are honestly a little bit lacklustre when compared to the Lancaster and the Litchfield, but one area where the Evans outshines both of them is ammo capacity. Where the Lancaster holds 14 and the Litchfield holds 16, the Evans here has a whopping capacity of up to 26 bullets. If you plan on spamming the Deadeye button when going on an all-out rampage, it's hard to pass up that kind of ammunition. Of course though, it does come at a cost. The reload time is terrible, the accuracy isn't great, and neither is the damage. Definitely go for pure headshots on this one. Anything on the body is unlikely to drop an enemy with just one bullet. On the plus side, you can purchase this gun as early as Chapter 3, after completing the mission American Distillation. As for a way of getting them free though, well I searched high and low and struggled to find something that was consistent. I did find a few NPCs and police that dropped them in Saint Denis, but not on a regular basis. So as an alternative, we'll go with the random encounter that presents itself several times throughout the game, and involves you rescuing some poor sod that's been bitten by a snake. In truly unrealistic fashion, you save his life by sucking the snake venom out of his leg thus curing all of his woes and enabling him to stupidly get bitten over and over again throughout the course of the story. I've seen him pop up in countless places all over the map, but these three locations here seem to be the most consistent and reliable. After saving his life and waiting a few in-game days, you'll then want to go to whatever gunsmith was closest to the encounter at the time where he'll then start hooting and hollering, asking you to come over and talk to him. He'll inform you that he is indeed very grateful and always pays his debts, going as far to back it up by saying you can purchase something from the gunsmith completely free of charge by putting it on his tab. So make your way over to the gunsmith and head inside. And then when you pull up the catalogue, you'll quickly see that every gun in the store costs the vast sum of zero dollars. Unfortunately, you can only get one but the dim bastard that hooked us up is pretty accident prone, and you'll get another chance later in the game. So I decided to modify the Evans a little bit, and honestly, I quite like it. Certainly not my first choice when compared to the other options, but it still gets the job done, and it certainly looks good doing it. That will pretty much wrap things up for today though, folks. If you enjoyed the video, a like really does go a long way, and if you're new around here, then definitely think about subscribing for all things Red Dead Redemption 2. I've covered just about every possible facet of story mode on my channel in the past, and I'm sure you'll find all of my other videos very useful. Until we meet again, you bunch of legends. I am Red Knight Trait, and I'll catch you on the next one.